Throughout the second half of the 20th century, the Soviet Union's thriving aerospace industry spearheaded the development of several different commercial aircraft, from mid-sized freighters to intercontinental wide bodies. However, when the Soviet Union collapsed, most ex-Soviet nations' airlines quickly switched to purchasing Western-made aircraft, including the latest planes from both Boeing and Airbus. However, in a few places around the globe, Soviet aircraft remain in regularly scheduled commercial service. Let's examine a few cases for today's video. First up, the Ilyushin IL-62 is a Soviet-built long-range jet-powered airliner first introduced in 1967. The plane offered a nearly 200-seat capacity and was briefly the world's largest jet airliner when it entered service. The jet has been operated in over 30 countries and was the flagship jetliner produced by the nation for decades. The aircraft remains in extremely limited operation today and, as per one mile at a time, only four examples are in service today, two with North Korean flag carrier Air Kuryo and another pair with Belarusian operator Rada Airlines. Next up is the IL-96, which was designed to replace first-generation long-haul airliners like the IL-62. The aircraft, which featured a more conventional underwing four-engine design, is powered by high-bypass Aviadvigatel PS-90 engines. Development began in 1988, but the jet didn't enter service until four years later. It remains in commercial service today with just one passenger airline, Cuban flag carrier Cubana de Aviación. According to the International Information Group, amid economic sanctions imposed due to the war in Ukraine, Russian authorities recently announced the relaunch of domestic IL-96 production lines. Third up is the Antonov AN-124 Ruslan, a heavy airlifter developed in the 1980s for the Soviet Aerospace Forces. The aircraft, originally designed by the Antonov Design Bureau for Military Strategic Airlifts, has become a crucial element of commercial air cargo transportation over time. The jet remains in service with both Ukrainian operator Antonov Airlines and United Arab Emirates-based cargo airline Maximus Air Cargo. In total, more than 20 AN-124 jets remain in operation across multiple different carriers. Originally designed to be roughly similar in both range and capacity to the Boeing 757, the Tupolev Tu-204 was designed before the USSR collapsed but did not enter service until the mid-90s. Over 90 of these jets have been produced. Today, the type flies with the North Korean flag carrier Air Kuryo alongside a number of Russian carriers. Finally, the Antonov AN-74 entered service in the 1980s. The aircraft features a unique design configuration with over-wing engines. The jet was originally designed to serve in rugged conditions, flying to remote airfields in the Soviet Union's Arctic regions with both passengers and heavy cargo. Today, the aircraft remains in extremely limited service worldwide, including with Iranian passenger airline Puya Air, alongside Ukrainian operator Motosich Airlines. Have you ever flown in any of these aircraft? Let us know in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.